here? Your dad called me. But the truth is that I'm really hoping I can win you over again. Sir Reynaldo, I told you to stop. How can you disrespect a woman like this? Reynaldo, what is happening here? No, I have to speak no, with Amparo. No, you are never going to speak to Miss Amparo. What is it? Isn't that the woman who Malena says is the lover of her father? Why is she here with Alonso? Not sure. I learned that you can expect anything from this one. But you haven't told me why you said that you would come with me. Because, honestly, I would have never missed the opportunity to be your date. Martha, I want you to tell me why you're here with this jerk. Not here. The man disappeared. No one disappears. Ruben grew up here. He knows every inch of this ranch. He must be hiding. Where could he be? I know where. Go get the dogs. You're so foolish. Come here. Why would you even dare touch a servant like that? And what's worse is that you're already wearing your suit. If it had been your father-in-law who came in and not me, do you have any idea where you and I would be Stop right it, now? Stop it, Mother. It's not a big deal. Oh, sure. And do you think that I'm dumb? Look, I know what I just saw. And you, young girl, stop acting innocent. It's because whenever a man goes after a woman, it's because she wanted him too. You did it to my son. I didn't do anything. Oh, don't you dare deny it. I know exactly what women like you do. With that, it's not my fault face. Oh, help me. I've seen them play well with most men. What's happening? This lady is accusing me because when she walked in, she saw Liar. that her son had been... Liar! Liar! You're seducing my son! I saw it! With all due respect, madam, First of all, this area right here is Julia's workplace. And if Reynaldo is here, it's of his own free will. And if we all think about it, if Reynaldo is going to marry Amparo, he shouldn't give in to any type of seduction, right? If that had been the case. Well, obviously. I'm letting you talk to me so rudely because I noticed that in this place, servants think that they have the right to answer in that tone. But I'll explain to you. Things are going to change for all of you after the wedding, because we'll be part of this family now. Son, the guests are arriving. Let's welcome them. San Lorenzo headquarters. Ah, oh, jeez, how I hate that man, Remigio. to the wedding of Oligari's daughter? Or are you? Yes. I'm going. I just came back to the office to get the books for the bride and the groom. <laughs> <laughs> but uncle, isn't it that you like parties? Yes, Betsabeth, I like parties. But it turns out just now that someone won't be accompanying me after all. So now I have to go alone. Oh, well. So may I ask who this date you're talking about was? No, Betsabeth. Don't be so nosy. Now I'm going to have to look for someone else. <gasps> no, no, you don't have to. That's why I'm here. Betsabeth, please, you know nothing about this. And besides, look at how you're dressed. <laughs> I'm afraid you're wrong about those things, Uncle. Number one, I know exactly what you do to people when you marry them here at the precinct. And number two, it will only take me just a few minutes, Uncle. This is all your fault, Emilio! Uncle, just wait. Don't you dare leave. Hmm? I remember Fabiola telling me she had a beautiful house. Oh my! It's really spectacular. Yes, Fermina, but the party is outside. Come on, let's go. It's nicely decorated. Thank you. You're Such welcome, a success. Sir. Here, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Let's cheers. Go. <laughs> Beautiful. Did you see the stairs over there? Same thing you're doing. I'm just enjoying the party, Sergio. Oh, don't talk to me like that. 
I don't have to explain myself to anyone. If you were behaving properly, I wouldn't be asking you anything. But when you come here, bringing this man along with you, what do you want me to do? Look, this is not about him. And this is just a party. Shut up, okay, man? Because I'm not Look, talking to you. I don't know what your problem is, but I think you're exaggerating. How is everybody? Having a good time? It's fantastic, Mr. Oligario. I was just telling Serio here that he forgot his son's birthday. It's today. The bar. It did not occur to me that you'd surprise me with a party. Or that I'd be dancing like this with you at all tonight. I just wanted to see you so happy, Miguel. And how can I not be when I'm with you, hmm? You did a good job pretending about the ballet classes, hmm? <laughs> and it never crossed my mind that you and my mother planned this. <laughs> I had no choice. But the ballet is true. I had to do something while you were here in San Lorenzo. Well then, I will turn into your number one fan. I still remember when I saw you dancing in that show at our school. With that short skirt you were wearing. Was yes, that yes, again? the pink tutu. That's the tutu. <laughs> yes, I remember now. You look beautiful with your tutu. <laughs> <laughs> you do. He can't be very far. Sir! I think the dogs found something. Okay, let's follow the dogs. Miguel kept waiting for his father's call. It's his birthday, it's only natural. Uh, of course I remember my son's birthday. But this morning I was very busy in the distillery and then the party and between one thing and another I just forgot. I'll call him right now, excuse me. <sighs> Everything looks really great, Oligario. I just love it. Nothing is too much for all my daughters. One will be getting married too. Then there'll only be Fabiola left, because she hasn't been very lucky. Oh, there's always the right time for things. <laughs> you always say the right thing. This woman is terrible. Really? How about you? What do you say, Alonso? Well, she's not as terrible as you think. Honestly, I didn't know that you two were friends. <laughs> you always surprise me, Counselor. I mean, this is really getting way out of line. What I don't get is that according to Milena, she's dad's lover, so why is she with Alonso? Well, maybe that's another lie Milena just made up. But you know, deep down, I hope it's true, so that she won't be as conceited as... Shh. But I'm so upset, Karina. I don't know why Alonso's here. What is he looking for, anyway? Well, he's not looking for anything. You're just mad. Cory, I'm not mad. I'm completely furious. But you know what I think? Milena lied to us when she said that Marta was Dad's lover, because why would she even go with Alonso here? What do you think? I know it's surprising, because I'm an independent woman, Mr. Oligario. You have your own home and three young daughters, and it's obvious you're a protective and loving father. But me, I'm alone, so I can just choose to do what I want. You always amaze me. <laughs> May I have a few words with the attorney? There's a legal matter that I want to talk to her about. Well, if it's all right for her to talk about work, then why should I complain, right? It won't take long anyway. We can speak in my office. Of course. That's no problem. Alonso, I'll be right back, okay? Go ahead. Ronaldo has always been bothering me, even before. I didn't say anything to avoid problems, but now he has gone overboard. It's okay, Julia, I know. Next time you should let me know right away so we can fix it. You're still too young and don't know how to defend yourself in this situation. I know that, Mrs. Zenaida, but I didn't talk because I was afraid, and you know what it's like when you're just a maid. Yes, I know. And some men think that women who work in homes are easy praise. That they don't have feelings. That they're there to serve them. And simply do whatever they please with them. Zenaida. That's true. Get thread and needle for me. Because you see, the button of my dress just fell off. Come with me.
I just can't stand it because this arrogant girl is going around my house. What's irritating is that Oligario likes her. Well, you should calm down. Or everybody will notice that you're angry. I'm not mad. I'm really annoyed. It's not enough that Fabiola wants to make my life impossible. Now I also have to put up with that ugly attorney who's here with Alonso. Tell me, Milena, which annoys you more? That Oligario likes her or that she came here with Alonso? Both, Miriam. Everything. It's Fabiola's threats, Oligario being nice to her. You're right. The real reason is that Alonso despises me and actually prefers her. No man has done that to me before. Well, then just forget about him. Why would you complicate your life when your husband not only has a lot of money, he's also handsome and strong and adores you? Don't be foolish, Milena. Alonso is nothing. You're wrong. You see, this is my pride now, and I'm not going to have peace until Alonso's mine. Hmm. What are you going to do with Oligario? Nothing. Oligario will be my husband until he dies and I inherit his fortune. It's that simple. I'll go get more. Come on, come with me. Hurry up now. I want you to know that it's a great pleasure for me to have you back in my house again like this. Even if I'm with Alonso Cáceres? Of course. You can come here with that Cáceres or whoever you want to bring along. Well, except your boss, of course. I would never dare come to this house with Rodrigo Irazabal. And I doubt that you would accept that. Oh, that name. Today is a very happy day. I'd rather not hear his name here. <sighs> Oligario, um... Why did you bring me here when the party is outside? Your wife might get upset. Mm, yes, I know that. But she's got to learn that a man can still talk to a woman and she's got to understand when it's considered important and practice controlling her jealousy at times. I see. Well, actually, I'm a bit intrigued though, honestly. I was surprised to see you come with Caceres. Is that a problem? Oh, no, no. Of course not. It's just that... Uh, it's kind of uncomfortable. If you know what I mean by that. Uh, well, you know. I think it's only natural. That I would be just a little bit interested in what type of relationship you have with a veterinarian. Alonso, you have definitely lost your mind. You're the only person I can think of coming here to this place and tagging along with you, Mr. Rodriguez's lawyer, after what happened with Fabiola and Malena. Relax, Remillo. Nothing is wrong. I am relaxed, all right. At the same time, I think you are just provoking Fabiola. You know, you might be making a mistake and you might regret creating more problems for everybody. Why me? I am a gentleman. Yes, yes. And I would never doubt it, Alonso. But you're one of those kinds of gentlemen who like to keep throwing logs in the fire. Just like what you're doing here with Martha as your date and acting as if everything is normal. Oh, come you on. You are insane. Your situation is worse than mine. Because you're here stealing the civil chief's date away from this party. <laughs> That's something to worry about if I were you. <laughs> Alonso, if you only had seen his face when he saw me walking happily hand in hand with Fermina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you left her alone? Remember, she's not yours yet. No, no, I left her with Fabiola. She must be comforting her because she turned into a wild beast when you arrived. <laughs> yes. Some wild beast. <laughs> believe what you're telling me. Oh, but don't let this ruin your mood. After all, this party is for your sister. Forget Alonso first. You see, haven't you noticed? He hasn't even looked at me all day. He's looking after Martha. Martha. Shh. 
Oh, please stop it. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know what they're talking about, and what is so funny? I mean, what would they laugh about, really? He's a hypocrite. It bothers you. Hmm. Huh? What would bother me? They're laughing? <sighs> Come on. It does. Because he ignores you. He's trying to make you feel as if you don't exist right now. Am I right? And you're devastated. I see that. I don't know. Oh, forget it. Forget it. Come on. Forget Alonso. And just enjoy the party. It's supposed to be a beautiful day, right? Don't let anything ruin it now. Nobody here. Cheers. Even if your father ordered Matakan and his men to keep me from entering this house, I still had to see you, Amparo. This is a big joke. This isn't real. Amparo, your bridal gown and this wedding. I'm making a fool of myself just to see you when everybody out there is already waiting for you to say I do to that stupid idiot. And do you know what's worse? But I'm still hoping that you'll forget about this whole wedding and change your mind and tell me that you'll fight for Ruben. me. Ruben. Ruben, just listen. You have no place over here. I can understand how you feel, but... This is just crazy because you know perfectly well that my father will have you arrested. But that doesn't matter. You have tried to push me away by insulting me many times. But I never believed you because I could see it in your eyes. And for someone who's just about to get married, you just can't hide your sadness. I know you're lying to yourself. If this is all a lie to you, well then yes, I am a part of it. But this is my decision. And what, what you and I had was, was, it was nothing to me. It was only an escape from reality. That's all it was, Ruben. I need one word, Amparo. Only one word. I need you to say one word and I'll take you away from here. I'll take you anywhere. I don't care who gets in our way, Amparo. No, Please. Ruben, no. No, Ruben. I am going to get married. And you know that you shouldn't be here. So please, just go, please. All right, then. I'll leave right now. I can see now that I made a terrible mistake. I wish you all the happiness in the world, Amparo. I hope you can smile again. Because you might not have enough tears to shed after all the suffering that he's going to put you through. He will never love you. your life and look for someone who will love you. I am not that woman and I will never be. <gasps> Miss Amparo, Mr. Oligario is coming up. He knows that Ruben is here. Uh, uh, Ruben, please. You have to get out of here. My father can't catch you with me. Please just go. Please, Ruben. All right, I'll go. But not because I am afraid of your father. But because there's nothing to fight for anymore. Please just leave me be, Ruben. I regret the day I fell in love with you. And I 
tell you to leave, Ruben? So where is my father? I don't know. How can you say that you don't know? You just told me that my father found out that Ruben is here. Well, I had to lie to protect Ruben. That's why I said Mr. Oligari is here. I hope you understand that. Well, the last thing I expected was to see you here with a veterinarian. That's why you can't blame me if I feel somewhat curious about the type of relationship that you have with this man you're bringing along today. Excuse me, but I'd rather not answer this question. As expected. You're a liberated kind of woman, I see that. That's right, and I hope this doesn't bother you at all. No, of course not. Now, Caceres works for me now. He's in charge of my horses. And I do believe that we have somehow slowly developed a good working relationship now and like before. Back when he was courting your daughter? Is that your whole point? You're a very frank person, too. The fact is, my dearest attorney, is that the last time we saw each other, I told you that I considered myself your friend, right? And for me, friends take care of those they care about. So then, as a good friend, I'll dare to tell you that this man is not good for you at all. But that's just my opinion. Of course, you can go on enjoying the party, the two of you. Feel right at home. The bar. Martha is marvelous. You know, I like her very much because she doesn't just have a great personality, but she's also affectionate. Yeah, my mother is just super. She surprises me like, like what she did now. Uh huh. And I'm her accomplice. <laughs> <laughs> I confess I enjoyed it though. Organizing this great party. Marisol. Sharing this special day with you has been the best birthday present for me. Seriously. Get rid of that frown, Wancho. At least try to pretend that you are not dying of jealousy. Miguel is nothing Jennifer. He's a loser who's trying to look smart. Miguel and Marisol are in love. Huh. And there's nothing that you can do to change that. Mm. Yeah, well, who knows? Who knows? Nothing is forever. Nothing. Are you okay now? Yes, I think so. Please calm down. Calm down and just try not to make a show. Oh, I'm not like Malena. It's just that thinking about Alonso makes my blood boil and I just can't help it, Fermina. Mm-hmm. Just take a deep breath. And count to ten. And if it still doesn't go away, then count to twenty. If it still oh, doesn't Fermina, go away... Fermina, please. I can count for a week, a month, a whole year, and it'll be useless. Useless, I tell you. But please, don't tell me again that I'm crazy, that I'm not right, that I'm unfair. And that Alonso loves me. That all of this is Malena's fault because I can't stand any more of those lines. Oh, no, don't worry, because I don't have to anymore. Because I know that deep down inside of you, you know that what I'm saying is true. Am I right? Oh, sorry. Is that the bathroom? Hello, Fermina. Hello. How are you? Well, I'm doing good. Tell me, how can you be so rude coming here to my father's house today? Huh? How could you even think of showing yourself after that scene that you made and all the issues you left for our family to deal with? Answer me. I'll give you a pass this time. Because I watch you grow up in this ranch. But the next time you set foot in this house, you will be sorry. I won't teach you a lesson yet. 
Yes, I know you're young and in love. But you made a mistake, Ruben. You aim too high. And you forgot who you are. That you are nothing but a common rancher. And that's all you'll ever be, Ruben. And even if it hurts, this is how unfair the world is. The law of the powerful always wins in the end. Do you understand? It's the law of life. No, you're wrong, Matakan. You are wrong. I believe that justice is going to win. Because Mr. Olicario's power is not going to last his whole life. You'll see. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't care. It's my job to follow his orders. And that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> If you see him around here again, shoot him dead. I watched when you were born. And I wouldn't like to see you die. But it's your decision. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Let's go. Hurry. I saw when Ruben came in the house and went up the stairs to see you. I also knew that the boss had ordered Matakan to stop him at any cost if caught near you. I had to lie to you both to protect Ruben. Because if they saw him here, who knows what could happen. At least out there, they would only kick him out. All right, Julia. You may leave now. that I'm in right now. Hey, what's wrong, Sergio, huh? You know, you look uh, as if you've been tortured. Nothing's wrong. Why? <laughs> I just saw your wife. Or should I say your ex-wife? Who's the guy with her? Her new boyfriend? That's not her boyfriend. A cheap circus clown, that's what. I can tell you hate him. In the past, when someone bothered you, we quickly got rid of him. I still remember when you finished off Don't that Don't even gym. think of mentioning that here. Hey, I was just reminiscing when we were a good team of some sort. We could do that again. I mean, we can be partners. You've got to understand. I don't do partnerships with useless bums like you. But you already did. I know that Malena is poisoning her husband. You were the one who called me for a checkup. That means that in a way, we are partners. Am I right? Horacio, welcome. Thank you. I've been up all day because my date ditched me and I had to bring my niece. <laughs> let's go, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, hurry up. That's your third glass of wine, Malena. Be careful. Remember that you have to look like the lady of the house today. Oh, Miriam, don't tell me what to do. Don't be annoying. I need to calm my nerves. Where are those two? I haven't seen my husband nor that woman who came with Alonso. And that's not good. Hmm. Alonso is nowhere to be found as well. One problem at a time, hmm? Hold this for me, please. I'm going to find Oligario. Your arrogance is limitless. How could I have ever seen you as a decent man when you're just like Malena? You're so the same. 
Don't you get tired? Don't you get bored saying the same thing? Well, how can I say anything else about you? You have no dignity, do you? Because if you did, you wouldn't be in this house. Or maybe that is why I'm here. Because I have dignity. Oh, please. If you did, you would respect my father in his own house. How dare you show your face here after you got involved with his wife? Come and on. And I won't waste time explaining something that you yourself don't even understand. What a fake you are. You are such a hypocrite and you shouldn't be here no matter what you say. Look, your father invited me here. I would be offending him if I didn't come. Are you okay? No. It bothers you to see me. No. But I don't like to see you like this. Is it because that guy is here? Hmm? Right? The bar. Hey, wait. Mm. I'll get some more. Oh, yes, please, because it's very hot. <laughs> Hello, Marisol. You know what? You look really beautiful today. I mean it. Hey, do you want to dance with me? Mm, no, Juancho. Let's not. But why not? I just saw you dancing a while ago. Come on, just one dance. I Come don't on. want to, Juancho, and I'm here with someone right now. Yeah, I saw. With that loser Miguel, right? Um, come on, just one dance, Marisol. He won't even notice. Let's go. Let go of me. Juancho, stop it. Juancho, leave her alone. Who do you think you are to tell me what to do, Miguel? Juancho, please calm down. Nobody wants to fight here. Shut up, you jerk! No fights, huh? I don't want to fight, huh? Huh? Juancho, stop it! Juancho, stop it! Oh, my goodness. Stop it! Stop them! No! Stop it! Let go of me! Hi. Hello there. What's the matter with you, Serio? Let go, you're hurting me! Tell me, what is this game you're playing with that veterinarian? Vicenda, are you going to keep on talking about the same thing over and over again? Yes, because I still don't understand how you fell in love with another guy while you were with me. What do you mean? What are you insinuating here, Vicenda? Don't be disrespectful to me. Sorry, I apologize. You know what I think? You're too drunk and I won't argue when you were like this. Vicente, how is my favorite scientist doing? Well, my father must have invited you because he doesn't know how evil you are. And that you took advantage of his trust by cheating with his wife. That's the reason. <laughs> What's so funny? It's incredible. I've never seen anyone else in this world so determined to believe in a lie all her life. Don't talk to me like that. You're not going to make a fool out of me. Don't come, come close on, to me, Fabiola. Alonso. Let go of me. What's the meaning of this? I'm glad you came here. And I'm glad you're not drunk. We're going to solve this once and for all now. We solve this. I'm going to be brief, so you better listen. This woman you see here is a complete fraud. Mean and despicable. How dare you, Alonso? Neither of you are leaving until we have clear things up. I'm going to end this issue now. You. You're going to be reasonable and stop acting like a... And you, Malena, on the other hand, will admit that all of this is nothing more than I'm deception. I'm not interested in what this woman will Stop. say. Let go of me. Are you afraid of admitting that everything you think is a lie? A lie? You are such a swine, Alonso. How can you say that after all those kisses and caresses we've shared with each other? <laughs> I've never touched you. You know it. I'm not interested. I would never be. But you kept on lying. 
And you still believe in this woman's game? You're disgusting! Why are you doing this? I miss you. I miss your body, your kisses. Don't you understand? Shout it out! Come on, say it! Tell your husband! Let's see if in front of him you'll speak the same way as now. I can face him if you want. Let's see if you will still believe what this woman wants you to believe. And so he really dared to come all the way here. Did he see Amparo? I don't know, boss. My men and I just found him in the garden. We threw him out of the ranch immediately. Just make sure he doesn't ever set foot in this house ever again. If he does disobey, do not hesitate to finish him off. Hmm? Don't worry, boss. That's exactly the same order I gave my men in front of him. So I don't think he'll ever try to return. Well, that's good. I wonder where Malena is and Fabiola. Uh, these two women cannot be let loose in this kind of crowd. I won't listen to you denying what we have just because of this we foolish woman. We have nothing. Woman. Stop lying, oh, Milena. Please. I don't have to listen to any of this. Stay here. Uh, Shut up, you two. Oh, you can't shut me up, Alonso. And don't you ever lay your hands on me again. Look, I'm the man who loves you the most. But it's a pity that thanks to your stubbornness and for easily believing on someone like her, what we had is over. Darn you, Alonso. I hate you. Too bad that's your only feeling. Hate. All for hate. Because I rejected you. You did all of this. To keep me from Fabiola because I love her. Because no one will feel that for you. You didn't say that when you had me in your... Well, that never happened, and it never will, and I'm not interested. I've never set my eyes on you, so Malena, show some dignity, and admit that there's nothing between us, that you just came in the shower in my house on your own, stalked me to the hospital, were drunk when you kissed me on the street, because that's the whole truth. I hope now you realize that what this woman just did is a lie. Lie to separate us, which unfortunately happened. But Alonso, it's not fair that I had to witness how unpleasant this is. In the middle of such occasion. You shouldn't have done this to me now. Your plan didn't go well. She doesn't believe you. I just wanted to say the truth in front of you. And I did. I hope you understood too, though. Don't look for me again. Now you know what you'll get. How dare you do this to me? Who do you think you are to humiliate me? Listen to me now, Alonso. Alonso, I'm talking to you. Alonso! <sighs> If I had only known that my favorite scientist was here, I would have come sooner to fix his life. Corina, this is not what you think it is. You know, she's just a good friend. Do you know each other? Hello. Corina Montoya. Corina Montoya. So she's the Corina Montoya? Yes, that's right. Corina Montoya. I have to leave now. I have so many things to do. It's a pleasure to meet you, Betsa Beth. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Betsa. Nice right. to meet you. You two have fun. Karina. Let go of me! You are hurting me, Sergio! Let go of me! First, you have to explain to me why you came here with that jerk. Well, it's been a long time since I'm obliged to explain my life to you. So let go of me, or I will report you again for assault and physical abuse. Let go! I love your legal <laughs> threats, my dear wife. I like it very much that you want to defy me and see how far I can go. I swore that you would never again lay your hand on me. So please, let go of me! Or I'll yell, Sergio, let go of me now! You know that I can ruin your life too anytime by making you lose your pathetic job. Oh, really? How's that? Because now you're messing around with Mr. Oligario? Think whatever you please. But I know you oh so very well. 
And I'm sure that if I start to investigate your real work here, I will surely find the same kind of fraud you always do. You are a fraud, and that also goes for your being a father. That's enough, kids. Stop it. You all came here to have fun and not to fight. Stop bothering Marisol. Shut up, you loser. <laughs> Tell me, how are you going to stop me, huh? It pains you that Marisol is mine. Huh. You know you don't have the right. Uh. It's true, Juancho. Just leave us alone, please. You are only defending him because you don't know the whole truth. You didn't tell her, Miguel? You didn't tell her, huh? He, he didn't tell you, my dear? Oh, he didn't tell you. He didn't tell you that we made a bet to see who would get you first. Right? Is it true what Pancho is saying? It's just something that he made up. I yeah. made it up? <laughs> you are a coward, Miguel. Sorry, Marisol. But for Miguel, you're just a trophy from a bed and nothing more. I won't forgive him for what he did. How can he insult me just like that? He didn't insult you at all, Milena. Considering what you told me, I think he only said the truth, which is different. He had the guts to reject me, but he didn't have the decency to be polite to a woman. He accused me of being sick because he wants that full sympathy. Uh, wait a minute. Look, Milena, he's in love, right? For an ordinary man, it must be very hard to reject a woman like you. But for him, no. Because his difference is, he already know what he wants and what he doesn't. He's still a man. Don't defend him. But try to calm down, Malena. Or do you want everybody to find out what's going on? Better yet, why don't you go back to the party? They must be looking for you. I can't. Right now, what I want is to kill someone. What I want is to have him in front of me and beat him. Look, control yourself, okay? For now, forget Alonso, even just for today. I can't. I just can't. That idiot will pay. I swear that vet will pay for this humiliation. I what promise. What humiliation does the veterinarian have to pay for with you?